Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. Uh, it, it, it is really, really good to be back. Uh, great news today. We're going we're gonna to have a great show today. I mean, great news today here in the boxing world. Um, but before we get into that, please like and subscribe, share on all forms, social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, where I just uploaded an interview with Cesar Cantu. Uh, who wants to go Texas, who is fighting on the Fury Wilder card. Um, it's great. It, um, it's a great channel. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. It's completely dedicated to Texas boxing. It's near and dear to our heart. All right, let's get into today's show. Um, Sean Porter and Terrence Crawford are official for November 20th. That's two weeks after the Caleb Plant Canelo fight. Uh, we are just loaded. We got September. We got Usyk Joshua. Then we got Fury Wilder 3. Then we got, I mean, we got so many big fights coming up. I mean, this is going to be every single week. This is going to be every single week. We're going to, you know, we're going to have great fights. We're close to it. Um, we, we Also, Heron and Shakur. There's a lot of great fights going on right now. Uh, and I, I think this is the best one. I honestly do. All things considered, you have two Hall of Famers. Um which is yeah, a former two-time welterweight champion against a long-reigning welterweight champion. I mean, this is a great fight. Um, stylistically, you love this fight, right? Because Crawford's been standing in. He's been more aggressive lately. He's been looking to get people out in a hurry. He's been standing in trading more than he used to, uh, which is interesting because usually, well, I guess he is getting older. and when, Sometimes when you get older, you do stand in more because your legs aren't as good as they used to be. Um, but then you have Porter, who's a bull in a china shop. Um, this is a really good fight. Uh, and I've been talking to a lot. If you go to my text box and scene channels, uh, I got, I got a ton of, um, interviews, um, out there. A lot of people, not a lot, a good amount of people are, are kind of picking Porter and, 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 I'm, and I'm kind of agreeing, you know, um, Kavalaskis gave him issues for three rounds. Kyle Oscars isn't very good compared to Terrence Crawford. I mean, compared to Sean Porter. You know, no, Kyle Oscars isn't very good compared to Sean Porter. Um, so what I'm saying is uh, Sean Porter can execute that game, like get inside, bully him, rough him up, and just do it a heck of a lot better than Kyle Oscars did. Right? Do it better at one, which Porter can. Porter's got a better jam. Porter can get on the inside better, and he's better on the inside. Right, So there's a lot of things that Porter can do. Porter's jam has really come a long way. It's really improved in his 30s, which is which is interesting. You know, it's one of those little things, you know, that you know he, he fixed later in his career. And it's like it's good to say it wasn't so ingrained that he could. He's a much better jabber now, right? Like that's why I think he beats Keith Thurman now. They fought because he uses his jab much better. He's accurate. I mean, he does a lot of things really well. He he's got a real chance in this fight, and I'm kind of leaning towards picking him. I think he gets inside, he roughs him up, and he just wins enough rounds. I think this is a fight that's definitely going to go the distance. I, I, I don't think there's going to be a knockout. Porter's not the biggest hitter in the world, right? Um, and uh, I don't think Crawford is, is getting Porter out. After you saw what Errol Spence hit um, Porter with, and Porter got out and was fine. I, I don't think anyone really is getting Porter out. Um, and, and Crawford's gotten everyone out at welterweight and since he moved up to 47, he's gotten everybody out. So, I mean, it's not crazy to think that he would. I, I, I just I, I wouldn't bet on it. So, then okay, we're going to the cards. Well, look, his last two fights, um, he's given up rounds, he's given up a lot of rounds early, early, early rounds. Like, he lost the first three rounds to both Kyle Oscars. And Cal Brook. 
if you get behind 3-0 to Porter, he'll just win some rounds. Like, you're not beating him unless you score a bunch of knockdowns. So I don't see happening. You know, I thought the knockdown was the difference in, in the Porter, in the, in the, in the Spence fight. You know, um, you know that was a draw-ish type fight that went one way, not the other, right? It went Porter's way. It went, I'm, guys, I'm sorry. It went Spence's way, not Porter's. But I, I, I 114, 113, either way, I thought it was the right scorecard. I, 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 I thought, you know, that knockdown was uh, scoring it live. I thought Porter won. I, I went back and I scored at 114, 113 spins, but it's that kind of fight. Um, so he's right in there with Spence. I know a lot of y'all pick him to beat Spence. I get boxing math doesn't work that way. I get it. But what I'm saying is Porter is right there with everyone. Porter is right there. Like he could win this fight. If you if you think Crawford has slipped, ring rust, whatever, and he's not hundred percent, like Porter can win this fight. I, I think at one hundred percent. If a couple of things goes Porter Porter's way, he wins this fight. Uh and, and kudos to Sean Porter. He fights everybody. Brooke, um uh Brooke, Broner, Thurman, Garcia. Spence, now Crawford. He's fought everyone that you would want him to fight. You know, he he was the one PBC guy who could make it work with with, with Terrence Crawford. I I know we were going to go to purse bids, but we didn't have to. They made it, they they reached the deal on their own, which also raises the question: Why is this not done more often? Why are deals not done between PBC and top rank more often? When you had to do it, you did it. You didn't even have to go to purse, but you got it made, which means you can get other deals made. So why aren't they? Let me know what you guys think. Um, again, I'm leaning tentatively. We're still two months out, you know, 10 weeks out, whatever it is. Tentatively, I'm leaning towards uh, Sean Porter, pulling upset. You know what you guys think? Leave your thoughts, comments below. What do you think of them reaching a deal? November 20th, $6 million guaranteed for Crawford, $4 million guaranteed for Porter. It's good money. You know, the initial offer that they made to Sean Porter was $1 million, which he left at, and he got four times that. So good for you, Sean Porter. Uh, Crawford got a big payday too, $6 million, which is the biggest guarantee of his career. So good, good for Terrence Crawford too. Uh, congratulations to both of y'all. Uh, but like, subscribe. Uh, remember, Texas Boxing, seen on YouTube, completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. So pre- please, please subscribe to that. Help us get that monetized. I'd really appreciate it. Um, from uh, It is September 14th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get him in. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.